Hey, my name is Matt. Welcome to Ranking Tactics. And I can't wait to share with you this update that Phrase pushed out yesterday to the AI. It is huge, absolutely powerful, but it's so subtle, you're probably gonna miss it unless somebody shares it with you. So that's what I'm here to do with you today. This is an early Christmas present. And now what it entails is magic commands. The phrase editor now has magic commands in it, and that opens up kind of a Pandora's box to what's possible. Let's just jump into the editor so I can show you what I'm talking about. So we have this article here, how to have a great Christmas for easy hacks. And if you look at these different statements on these different lines, you'll see they're, they're kind of like commands to tell the AI what to do. And this was not possible prior to this update. So the first command we have is write an outline for an article about how to have a great Christmas for easy hacks. So we can just select it and hit control enter. We get a really nice outline. So this can be your H2s, these can be your H3s. You have a whole build out right now of your entire article. Now, this is not from a ranking perspective. This is just using the AI, but this is a great kickstart, especially for those longer tail, non-competitive articles that you just need the AI to help you write. So the next uh, command we have is write a catchy YouTube title for a video about my four easy holiday hacks. So we'll select it, control enter, Four easy hacks to have a better Christmas. Celebrate early this year. All right, so this is in the context of the title of this article, right, a few paragraphs. The AI in phrase takes a couple different things into account. The first thing it takes into account is the title of the article. This is the title up here. So instead of having to say, in the context of an article about how to have a great Christmas, four easy hacks, you can just say title. So in the context of the title of this article, and the AI will, will understand what you're talking about. Write a few paragraphs about the subtopic of stock up on wrapping paper after the big day, when it's on clearance. So I have not mentioned anything about Christmas in here. We'll just see if the AI can figure that out based on this title up here. Awesome. Well, cool. if that was gonna be our H2 or our H3, we have a whole build out now. And what you can do is you can come up with a command that works really well for what you're trying to achieve and then save that. Have a scratch pad somewhere and you're saving all your magic commands. That way for whatever you do, maybe you're a blogger, you write a lot of blogs, maybe you're you make a lot of YouTube stuff, you're making YouTube scripts or something. Whatever you do, you can save those magic commands and then refer back to them later on. So here's a Twitter post, write a Twitter post about the title of this article. It's almost Christmas, make this holiday season extra special with these four easy hacks. Even put some hashtags in there, that's fantastic. Five question and answers about this topic, cool. Okay, now the next thing I wanna show you is uh, what month is Christmas this year? Now, obviously Christmas is in December, but there's a way to add some background information and that background information is going to affect what the AI knows. So what month is Christmas? Control enter. And it's gonna say that it's in November. This year, Christmas is in November. Now, why does it say that? Because in the AI write section, so you click AI, in the free form editor, AI writer, this is our background context. So we can, maybe you're doing product reviews and you have some details about the products, or maybe you're a company and you have some special background information about your company. You can put all that information into here and then the AI will use that as it's writing, okay? So if we take this out, what month is Christmas? And then we run it, it's no longer gonna say November, it's gonna say the right thing, which is in December. So you can really control what the AI knows based on this background, but then also, based on our title up here. And you'll see I have these hashtags. Now what that's gonna do is tell the AI not to take into account anything above here. And the reason I put it in here is because if I would run these, it would, this is not how you would format an article. So it would take, you know, this into account when it's answering the question about Christmas. We don't really want that. So the hashtags can say, don't look above that. And the background can help you help the AI know more about your topic. And then we're also gonna take into account the title up here. Now, this is also something very important I wanna share with you. Explain the concept of light speed to a fifth grader. So this has nothing to do with Christmas, but watch the output that we're gonna get. Watch what's gonna happen. So it, it doesn't talk about light speed at all because this background context is weighing so heavily on the AI. So what we can do is we can delete this background context and now rerun it. So now we have, we have less, less factors affecting the AI and more answering just exactly what we're asking. Very powerful. Let me show you another way you can use this too. So now we have our entire written article here, how to have a great Christmas, four easy hacks, 1900 words. Watch this, this is really cool. So we can go to the optimize section now and we have a 55% optimized, but we wanna go higher. We wanna boost that optimization. How can we do that? 
So let's find a couple keywords, duct tape and floral wire. Now what we could do is get creative with decorations. This is cool. So what we can say is write a follow up paragraph that uses the, the keywords duct tape and floral wire. So when you do this magic command mode, it's also gonna look back, it's gonna look up and so when you say write a follow-up paragraph or write a paragraph using based on the above context, the AI can also do that. So let's run the AI. We should just get one really nice paragraph that uses these two keywords. For more, more creative touch, use duct tape and floral wire to make your own decorations. With a few simple supplies, you can create festive garlands, wall hangings, or even holiday themed sculptures. Fantastic. So this is a great way to add more contextually relevant words to your article, but also hit on those uh, different words in here. Man, we, we somehow boosted up to 76%. I don't know how we did that, but very easy way to then optimize your article. You can even go into, let's see, the research section and go to questions. And people also ask, how can I stop being overwhelmed at Christmas? Fantastic. We'll paste this in. This will be our H2. And then we'll write that as a question. Back to paragraph mode. Fantastic. Look at that. That's great, isn't it? Now you can still go to the AI writer. You can still use the templates and whatnot. But this is another avenue to get a lot more power out of the AI without having to navigate these different templates. You can just do everything right inside of this editor. Makes it very easy. So drop a comment below. Tell me what you think. Tell me what your thoughts are and any feedback. The Phrase team is always improving their product. I can't wait to see what's in store. Also, I really want you to have a great holiday. I hope you're gonna spend a lot of time eating a lot of good food with friends and family and have a great end of the year and usher in the new year. Hope you got a lot of big plans because we're gonna to hit to 2023 hard. So I hope you're excited. Good luck with your content generation and I'll talk to you later.